Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another team report. I'm Mr. Rishi, and today we're going to be going over my top three TMR team. So, well, first, <laughs> it's a top four placing team from the plus tournament that was yesterday, uh, which was plus OP weekly 54, I want to say. Uh, I might be off in that. Um, along with the team that I got top three TMR, or currently I'm top three TMR in the game on ladder with maybe top two TMR, hopefully, by the time this video comes out. You'll see in the thumbnail and title though. But not only is this the team that I got top two, top three TMR with, but it's also a Typhoo team, which you don't get to hear very often, considering that most people believe that Typhoo's a bad time. But shoutouts to Lelouch Roar and Matt Gia for kind of their ideas coming together, helping me come up with this typhoon or they pretty much came up with it and then i'm i'm just showing it off honestly i'm just playing with it showing it off showing the world what typhoon can do but let's get right into things so beginning starting off your this team is similar to my control team and not not 100 percent like my control team but uh it has similar aspects it is the ta grandpa tataru um, ruled is obviously on every team so there's that too well uh one of the biggest things with this team i'll get into the strategy a bit is the the reliance on taking out key threats of the enemy and then being able to set up or with a turbo sweeper like if i get a turbo choreography off on my tolkien or my golzi or my guy alice or my ruler and then being able to sweep or if there's only physical attackers left and typhoon makes it through pick ban being able to get a bark shield off with my typhoon being able to leech them regen 25 percent of my hp while taking 25 percent of them and also being able to regen my stamina completely through gaia which i believe is a learn move yes which it, it's just it, typhoon is a self-sufficient raid boss in the sense of it can set itself up through bark shield increasing its defenses heal itself with leech and gaia and get its stamina back with gaia um i also have first aid kit on here just so that when i get low on health i can get that 25 percent increase in hp Ooh, first aid kit uh leech hypox uh, hypoxia is there to hit toxics like i've noticed that it's either hypoxia or dust vortex and i noticed that dust vortex it, it can be good against golzies and minothors but you don't really want to be staying in against fires so i decided to go with hypoxia since you're able to stay in against toxics much easier than you are against fires this spread pretty much just max hp 101 stamina in order to allow you to get that break stamina regen breakpoint which allows you to regen seven stamina per turn um and the rex rest defense and then one value point or two tvs for a value point in special attack so next we have grandpa this is the same spread that i used in my last team report we got the stair hks or hyperconnect strike turbo hypnosis um the spread is just like enough speed to outspeed max speed kino and volaren then stamina to do i believe it's turbo hks turbo hks which also overlaps with some other move rotations which is really cool and then the rest into hp and then defense value tataru same spread as i used before i think it is at least we have enough stamina to do three moves without overexertion, even after marbles chip or if we get exhausted on our turbo choreography turn we still have enough stamina to do three moves we have speed invest in order to outspeed max speed gyalis and ukama max or er, two prios while we use a two prior at plus three speed and then the max hp and the rest into attack with one defense value tolkien tolkien's stamina is to go wind burst fiery soul tornado uh also let me zoom in a little bit i guess let me zoom in here while the speed is to allow me to outspeed max speed ukama oshiara and gyalis two prior with my three priority moves such as fiery soul and tornado then I have enough special attack, I think, to KO. I don't remember what that special attack's for, but then I have enough HP to live a water cannon from Ukama or a burned aquatic whirlwind from Ukama, I think, if I'm not if I'm not forgetting. I, I haven't changed this Tolkien spread in a long time. It's just been very good for me in general. Ruler, uh, like last time, I, I still haven't changed this ruler spread like at all. It's just been working really well. It does a lot of damage like ruled does does ruler things right i couldn't really find any calcs that i could do with ruler just because it's so good um and it lives everything pretty much i did swap out rockfall for held anger though i noticed that i kind of wanted held anger for the stamina or low stamina option along with just like the utter nuke that can happen when paired with stare grandpa um we have guy alice guy alice 233 
just a little bit of speed creep to outspeed base speed Gyalises and things that go 232 speed that that wants to outspeed Amphitir with their three prios. 61 stamina hit that stamina regen breakpoint, max HP, and then the rest attack with two defense as a value point. All right, Golzi, we have 81 total stamina. We have, or 81 total stamina for that regen breakpoint. We have enough speed to outspeed max speed Chromion. And then we have enough attack I don't remember what the attack is called for. I believe it's leftover from our HP defense and or defense and special defense because the HP is actually to live a Synertyper max special attack harmful microwaves from Chromion. Then lastly, we have Akronox. Akronox is a really good tem, honestly. Like it helps me into waters as I have two water weaknesses along with helps me into fires which threaten out Typhu and threaten out Gyalis. Um, we have Sting, Venom Spread, Toxin Shower, Soil Seam, Cobweb as its trait to help prevent things from swapping, and Slingshot just to get the extra speed. We have 71 stamina. I believe this allows me to go each of my moves once. Um, 297 speed TVs, which gives me to 240 speed. So that at plus one speed, so like after one Slingshot proc, at plus one, I can outspeed max speed Golzi. Then I have max HP and the rest special attack. I've been thinking about increasing the special attack number, but honestly, it hasn't, it hasn't been too bad. But yeah, uh, with that out of the way, we are going to actually get into a, some footage since this team review was a bit shorter than the last one, or this team report was a bit shorter than the last one. So I'll see you guys when I get the footage. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Obviously, it was only a couple seconds for you, but I'm actually playing. Uh, this is really high ladder right now. We are top three, like I said earlier in the video. I am at 1662 TMR at the moment. So let's try to win this. Let's try to get to number two at that. Okay, so what am I going to be banning here? I want to be banning the Platymus, I think, as it hurts my Typhoon, it hurts my Ruler, it also hurts my Tolkien. Yeah, I like a Platymus ban. They have triple electric, which could be really rough for me. We'll have to see, though. Hmm. Uh, Typhoon's looking really good this game. We'll see if we can get it through pick ban. Not sure that we will, just because Welch does know what Typhoon does. Um, and also, like, he knows his team is weak to it. But I'm not gonna play suboptimally just to show off Typhoon, as I've already done that plenty on stream. As we might not even need the Typhoon, honestly. Because, um, Ruler looks really good here. Okay, so they actually first banned Typhoon. Wow. Uh, we'll go Ruler then? I didn't know. We'll go, we'll go Aquinox. Yeah, Aquinox looks good. They go Skunch Golzi. Okay, I know this combination. I think, I think what we do is we go Akronox Ruler. Hmm, maybe not. No, we'll go Akronox Ruler. Yeah. And then let's see if they give us Tolkien. I'm guessing they will give us Tolkien just because we have. We have, uh, they have so many electrics. Also, if you, because I'm not going to be showing off any Typhoon gameplay in this video, if you guys are wondering what Typhoon gameplay looks like, I actually have another video on my channel called, I don't remember what it's called, but it, it's a pretty clickbait title. You can't really miss it. It has Typhoon Leech, the Typhoon Leech animation going on, stuff like that. They ban our Gyalis though. So I think what we are going to do is we are going to end up banning their Volgon. Picking Tolkien. Uh, the Akronox looks really good as of now. So we'll have to keep that in mind. We'll probably be swapping out Akronox game one. Or turn one more of. Uh, hmm. I think because they have so many ways to kill my grandpa, we're actually gonna go. No, we'll, we'll go Tattered Grandpa. Tattered Grandpa is just so good. It's really good. Hard to pass up. Okay, 
Okay. We are in. We are in. How did they know that I was already in the match? What the hell? <laughs> okay. So what we will do here, we will go Raven, and then we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll stoneball the Golzi. Pretty free stoneball there. They can uppercut plus a wrenching massage, my ruler, but, uh, they will not kill. <clears throat> they bring in their own ruler here. This is a pretty good Tolkien board, I'd say. Okay, they wrenching massage the Akronox. Are they war drum? Let's see. It looks like they're war drum. Yep. Okay, not much damage on the rule. There barely any because we are burned. That is fine by me though. As what we can do now is I think if we just hit the ruler, ooh, I want to hit the ruler, but at the same time, Skunch is a pretty big threat. Um, especially if I want to get the Akronox off late game. Honestly, I think we actually split damage here. We'll fiery, we'll win, we'll tornado the Skunch, and then we will just goring the ruler. The reason why we split damage is just for it to get lower, or to get in range of an Akronox, right? Because we're going to be going for an Akronox sweep here. Once Akronox can get a couple stings off, it'll outspeed everything. And if we have everything in range of it, then we won't really care what's on the board. Okay, we get the tornado off on Skunch. Decent damage. Decent. It seems to be a bulkier Skunch, though. Our Goring does outspeed the Skunch, which is awesome. Oh, it's actually Savage Suplex. Okay. I expect an Oshidashi. Okay. Um, Fire Nado looks pretty good in that slot. Into the right slot, that is. And then we'll just, uh, we'll just drill impact. Drill impact the ruler, I think. We'll be able to see if the ruler, the enemy ruler is tardy rush or not. I'm guessing they are tardy rush, but the reason why I didn't na tornado the ruler, despite ruler having lower sp uh, special defense than defense, was because I was afraid of it being thick skin. So we do get the fire tornado off, which is huge. As again, this does put it in range of like an Akronox Sting or something like that. So they have Perfect Shab, Wrenching Massage, Savage Suplex, I'm guessing Ninja Jutsu. As I think you always run Ninja Jutsu on Skunge. Alright, now we can go Akronox. Oh, but they can ninja jutsu us. Hmm. No, I think we should outspeed the ninja jutsu though. They are tardy rush also. So we'll tornado the ruler. And then sting the skunch. And the reason why I'm stinging here and I think I'm gonna outspeed is because of how slow their skunch is. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that is perfect. We can save the Tolkien, I want to say. Maybe we don't save the Tolkien. There they go, Regnant. We can get a free Soil Steam into the left slot, actually. No, we'll actually rest on Tolkien. No oh, Soil Steam Ruler. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, they perfect jab. Are they slingshot? They are not slingshot, which is really good for me. I'm guessing that slingshot is on their Volcarine, which they had in, or that they left behind in Pikban. Alright. If that's the case, what we can do here 
is we can actually fiery soul plus we'll fiery soul in order to guarantee that speed the the goalsy right and then we'll just soil seam because we at plus one speed like i said earlier uh we actually outspeed the goalsy already at plus one speed so this is like a really good way of showing it off i guess And we should live, or we should we should kill the Golzi with the double in, unless it's a very bulky Golzi. This is possible, but even if it is a very bulky Golzi, um, we should be able to do stuff with uh, with Al or with our Grandpa afterwards. Okay. Beautiful damage. Are they actually Hypnosis the Akronox? Hmm. We'll rest on Tolkien just because there's no reason for us to swap it out. <clears throat> and then we'll swap in Anji. Anji isn't gonna, is only really good against the Aohi now. So if it gets to a Golzi Regnant board, Anji or my grandpa isn't gonna be that good. Yeah, they bring in Golzi, I'm gonna guess. We're getting Marble's chip on the Golzi, which is actually really nice. How much damage does this do? Oh yeah, we actually live a hasty lunge from this, uh... From the Golzi, I believe. Because I believe the hasty lunge has 271 damage exactly. So what we can do is that we can fire tornado the left slot and also hyper connect strike um, because if they don't hasty lunge oh hmm if they don't hasty lunge anji or my grandpa they could hasty lunge the raven right which would be bad for me if they if i use hyper connect strike up and then they swap in regnet so what i'll actually do is Hmm. No, that should be fine. That should be fine if they do that, actually. We'll, uh, so we'll just we'll fire Tornado in case Regna swaps in. Or no, we'll, we'll, we'll Tornado the Golzi. Fire Tornado the Golzi. Just because we want damage on it for... Oh, Speed Arrow. So we actually Speed Tide. I believe Golzi and... Which one call it Speed Tide? Golzi and uh, Grandpa Speed Tide. But they didn't even go for the Grandpa anyways. So I know that I do not die to a single hit from the Golzi. I do die to uh, Paizo Electric Blow, but yeah. Or Paizo Electric Blow plus, no, just Paizo Electric Blow, honestly. Or I should die to it. So we'll extra energy slam the Golzi and we'll stare the Regnant. Just because I know I'll be able to get a kill on the goals he guaranteed. Yep, there goes Grandpa. Okay, and then we get our damage on Golzi here. Now that's in range of a soil seam. I guess if they have Turbine Regnant, that would be... That that would lose me the game, right? But if they have Turbine Regnant, that's... That's rough. That's rough for me. I'll say that. Uh, so we'll Soul Seam and Major Slash the Golzi. Just in case they have Turbine Regnant, I guess. Even though I doubt they do. Golzi will get taken down here. And the Hypnosis. Okay. And now what we can do is that we can actually Toxin Shower. And Major Slash.
Toxic Shower will wake up our chat room. It protects our Akronox. And this should be GG. So it does seem like we are going to get moved up to number two on the ladder. Toxic Shower going off. Oh, it's bait rigged in. Interesting. Interesting. Trying to trying to trying to scoot me over when I hypno you, huh? Hey, and that should be a good game. As they can't get a double kill and held anger or soil seam does finish them off. Hey, let's see how much more we get. No, I only got 4 TMR. Therefore, I will not be in number two on ladder. I'll still be number three. But, you know, can't can't have everything in life, right? I believe Welsh. Oops. Welsh Leprechaun. Okay, so he was like 200 TMR below me. Almost 300 or 300 TMR below me. Um, and then Gimmicks is number three right now. Well, it's on the podium at least. Turby's number two right now. And then SNR Platt is number one right now. I'm number three over gimmicks, obviously. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, uh, thank you everyone so, so much for coming out to this video. Oh, again, accidentally doing my Twitch stream, um, stream outro. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this team report that I went through and the, the gameplay that I did. Put a lot of work into this team. Uh, it's been really, it's really a refined team from when I was using the control variation of it. And I added a Typhoon in and Typhoon just seems to be doing really well. But yeah, put a lot of work into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, sub, and comment if you made it this far. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Have an amazing day and week in life. Peace.